Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I hope that you are having a lovely weekend so far. It is a three-day weekend for me and I'm super stoked <laughs> and excited to have some extra time to relax and kind of decompress from everything that's been happening. <laughs> um, but before I get started, this kit is from Miss and Meow. It's called Self Care and this is actually a perfect kit. I have been adoring this kit and kind of hoarding it for a while. Um, I really wanted to wait until I got a massage to use this kit. I know that's super specific, but I just felt like it was so appropriate for that vibe. And I'm pretty sure this week that I'm planning rain, uh, rained a couple of times. And um, it was like, also, I just remembered because while I was getting my, my massage, I heard like the rain coming down, but it was so calming and relaxing. Um, but this kit, like I said, it's called self care. I do have a referral link for Miss and Meow below. And, um, I think if you use my link, you can save a certain percentage off of your first order or something like that. But like I said, I also got a second massage, um, a few weeks after this too. I've been trying to give myself a massage once a month as like my self care, like treat yourself kind of thing. <laughs> um, I don't get them very often, but I know that they've been super helpful with my, um, I have like a pretty bad injury from, from college when I used to do like CrossFit powerlifting and like just sports and, um, like growing up and dance. And I have like a pinched nerve in my back, um, like left shoulder blade area. And, um, I, I feel like the only way for it to kind of feel better and to get some relief is to one, go to the chiropractor and then consecutively also go and get a massage. So um, I do have a chiropractor that I go to regularly. It's kind of like just those walk-ins and they're pretty affordable without insurance. Um, but I'm really bummed because my doctor actually went to a different location and it's in a different city. And personally, I don't feel like driving like 30 minutes just to go get a chiropractic um, adjustment. So I might just explore the different options around my area. Um, but you know, there's like always a hassle when it comes to looking for a new doctor, a new hairstylist, a new nail person, like it's probably, it, I know it's like a first world, first world problems, you know, but at the same time, it's just, um, one, it's super inconvenient. It's kind of challenging and you've already built trust and a relationship and bond with that person. So it's like a whole thing to do it all over again. But anyways, like I said, first world problems. Um, like I was saying, I get a massage one to kind of help relieve, relieve the pain up there. Um, in my trap shoulder blade area. Okay, hi Jace. Thanks for coming in, baby. <laughs> you wanna come sit with mama? Come here. Come on, up up. Do you wanna sit with me? Okay. Yeah, you're so sweet, honey. Hi. Hi. I know. So we're sitting on my chair in my planner room and he loves sitting on his chair with me. <laughs> um he's such a sweetheart. Um but anyways, so like I said, I do want to start getting massages regularly for a you know for a sense of relief and then also it's very calming and relaxing I do get deep tissue massages so there are some moments where it's not relaxing because it's kind of painful um, but I so need it and it helps out in the long run um, but I, I really do like my masseuse a lot the, the other one that I used to have she went on maternity leave so I feel like everybody in this office is just so great um, and I can truly rely on like any of them to do a phenomenal job all right Jay see you later bud Okay. <laughs> he just, he, the way he like barges into my rooms, like I won't close the door all the way. And sometimes I will if like I'm in meetings so he doesn't come in and bother me and like bark and be super loud. Um, but other times if I'm just lounging around or just in the house, you know, like I'll just kind of keep the doors cracked. But you know, he like barges in. He's like, mommy, I'm here. It's like, I'm making an announcement. I want you to know. And it's not like a pleasant opening the door. It's like a boom, like he barges in and like the door hits the back of the wall. And I'm just like, <laughs> thank God for the spring, you know, otherwise my wall would be damaged. But <laughs> anyways, um, so, uh, what was that? I just went on a tangent about like five different things, <laughs> but so I get massages regularly. I'm going to start getting them regularly and I'm, I'm going to be intentional about it. So, um, I have something because honestly, I might get my hair done once or twice every year. Um, I usually just get trimmed every six months. Um, and then 
and get like deep conditioning and stuff like that done or treatments and then I do my own nails so like I don't really have anything that I really do for myself that's like a treat yourself kind of pamper situation um I want to get my toenails done but my mom does pedicures too so like I I don't like she does them for me um and sometimes like I'll do her nails or my sister's like manicure so it's kind of like we have this whole thing going but I don't know it is nice every once in a while to just go and get it done myself. Hold on, let me go close my door. Okay, so in addition, I went and grabbed my coffee because I just woke up like 45 minutes ago. Um, and I get up pretty early even on weekends, but I I need my coffee this morning. <laughs> so story time. Um, I think it was Thursday night into Friday. I had really bad insomnia. Like I was up from like two to five. I just couldn't sleep. And I think I only had like three hours of sleep that night and it was so terrible and my Friday was just dragging and I didn't even have coffee right when I woke up because I um, tried to get whatever sleep I could and I ended up sleeping in until like eight because like from five to eight, that was like the only time I could sleep. But anyways, I had um, a meeting to mentor my mentee and I was just like, oh my gosh, I need to, I need to just hurry up and get on the computer. I didn't even have time to make coffee, um, and I probably sounded like a zombie, and I felt so bad. Um, but anywho, um, yeah, so again, this is the week that I had a massage. Um, I'm so excited to have one in another week. So I have a Two Little Bees self-care kit that I do want to use, and it's like really green and like totally my vibes. I feel like I haven't used a green kit in a long time, and I've been craving it, but I've just kind of been waiting for like the right moment to use some of my kits. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I know... I think most of us in this community that plan with stickers decoratively, we try to use like kits that match the week that we're in, whether it be um, like the full boxes that match the color scheme or the quote, whatever it is. But I, I know I'm kind of intentional about it. Um, for spring kits, I feel like for the most part, um, it doesn't matter too much. And same with like any kind of seasonal kit. Um, but if I have something specific going on that week or if it's like a holiday week or something, um, then of course I'll kind of use a kit that's very specific to that. And I was excited to have like an anytime kit that was pretty specific to getting a massage or like pampering myself. So that was really nice. But okay, so this was actually Lauren's birthday week. And I feel like it's kind of a nod to Lauren because Lauren always talks about self-care, self-care showers. She does a lot of her masks and um getting her nail like doing her nails and kind of like pampering herself. So I totally felt like this was like perfect also because it is also her birthday week. Um, her birthday was on Tuesday. So I wanted to mark that in the most beautiful way that I could. And I was so thankful that one of the freebies I have from Miss and Meow was also in like gold foil. And it came with those beautiful streamers that I used above, um, you know, to mark Lauren's birthday. And I think there were some other bows that came with that sampler. In addition to there are some, I think I have some other like scallop circles on my leftover reusable book. That I pulled in so they matched kind of perfectly with the color scheme and it was just this was such a pleasure to use to plan with it was so much fun it's so beautiful the florals are gorgeous and I love how wispy they are and that some of them have curves and like the one on Tuesday it curved around the corner of the box just perfectly like I love having different shapes and flows and things like that so okay I kind of talked through everything I do have my planner here so I am obsessed with the day covers so lately I've been kind of trying different things with doing, you know, just a few florals here and there and making my own bouquets, but this was truly like a more traditional, just florals and then like a washi strip. And this is kind of like how we first started off doing all of the crazy floral day cover decorating. And I kind of went down memory lane doing something a little bit more simple. And I, I really did enjoy that. I love how I marked the month. I thought it was super cute with the different deco pieces. Um, I did layer a Gathered Layers um, shadow box with my collab with Panda Bird Design. And then um, also on the sidebar, I used the beautiful Mandela trim. It was kind of like the full divider, but then I cut it in half because um, there is like a very faint and like thin clear line that I was able to use as a guide to cut through the middle. And I loved how that turned out. And I also found the Treat Yourself script that came with the freebie. So that, that was so, so perfect for this week. The happy birthday script is also from the Miss and Meow freebie that I had. Um, all of the scallop trims that I'm pulling in throughout the week, those are from Bloom Paper Studio. They're in light gold and they are one of my favorite, favorite scallop dividers ever. They are so gorgeous or trims. Um, 
and they're just so pretty. And then I also used some simple line dividers from Paper, paper Trail Plans, also in Light Gold throughout the week. So let me know. Are you like light gold all the way? Or are you traditional gold all the way? Or do you like not care if you mix it? Because at this point, I feel like I kind of treat gold like I would with um, hollow and silver. It's gotten to the point where every shop's gold and light gold is significantly different and varies that I just cannot keep up. <laughs> and it's I don't want planning and buying stickers and building my collection to be stressful anymore. I used to, I remember when I first started this hobby, I used to obsess over like what I had and didn't have. And I wanted to make sure I had full sets and full collections and everything had to match. And now I've gotten to the point where it's like, one, I'm blessed and thankful to have an abundance of things, but also it's just, it's also so overwhelming and it takes away the joy and sucks the joy right out of just enjoying everything for what it is, right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> like, I also know that rose gold varies from shop to shop too, but I feel like rose gold is kind of faint. Um, like, it's not that big of a difference when they do vary in color or shade or tone or whatever. But gold and traditional gold, like light gold and traditional gold, they all vary. Like, I'm just to the point where, like, I, I don't even care. Like, most of my icons from Crafts by Tawi are more of a traditional gold, but it's not like a super hot yellow gold. Um, and those are most of my icons and it's just, it's a bummer, you know, and I have some planning world gold icons that are definitely brighter gold and it's like, I'm still going to use them, but I'm trying to like fight that, like, oh, I want it to match kind of like thought, you know? Um, but I definitely do know what shops I have that lean more towards like gold. And what's even more crazy to me is, um, it's not crazy. It's just like, oh my gosh, there's so much more to think about and to consider when shopping is, um, a couple of shops I know like Bloom Paper Studio and Paper Trail Plans have like the tr traditional or the, um, classic foil option where it's like light gold, um, rose gold and then gold. And then there's a traditional gold, rose gold and silver. Sorry. I might've, I might've totally ruined all that, but it's just like having the two options. I'm like already overwhelmed and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like having to think about, do I need hollow? Do I need, you know what I mean? It's like an extra thing to think about when shopping and I just get overwhelmed and maybe it's just me and I'm being silly, but if you understand and can relate, please let me know so I don't feel alone. <laughs> um, okay. So I love how the spread turned out. I tried to make it, um, more white spacey, meaning I didn't use too many accents throughout the week. I probably use like one to three in every section. And I love how that turned out. It was a little bit more um, white spacey and not as busy. <laughs> I felt like that was kind of the vibe of this kit. I didn't want too much going on because the florals were already so intricate and detailed and very um, busy with the different kinds of colors and wispiness and things like that, that I didn't want to add too much more. I also have been enjoying trimming these lace dividers that come with the kit, which I adore. I trim them in half um, horizontally and then I layer one of the scallops from Bloom Paper Studio and then this dainty divider or garland, sorry, that is from Sadie Stickers, probably one of the best $2 Tuesday she's ever had. Um, I just watched Jen Holm Muniz's um, Plan With Me and I second what she said. Alicia, if you're watching, if you would make those garlands on full quarter sheets in addition to like all of your dainty dots and dainty accents on like full quarter sheets, I would love that. <laughs> um, I just love that there's they're so dainty and elegant and it just really took this spread to another level and I, I just love how that turned out. And I really did want to match like the dainty garlands and banners from the first half of the week from the Miss and Meow freebie. I know I breezed through the first half of the week so if you have any questions just comment below. I love how the spread turned out. Like I said, I've just been adoring Miss and Meow kits. They're just so beautiful and also I'm really proud of myself for balancing out the different kinds of boxes like every other day. So my spread does look a little bit more cohesive. Um, okay, so the only thing I will say is I know this was her older format where her icons were a little bit larger and she just recently rescaled her icons to be a little bit smaller and I'm so excited to try those out because I do see the difference. I, I just hauled a couple of her new kits and I can't wait to use them because I do prefer the sizing in her newer kits a lot better for the icons. Her icons are super cute, like the clipboard there, for example, super adorable. And I love how detailed they are and they have some of the colors and like the pattern and it's just really adorable. Okay, so um, I had my, my, I had my Wednesday, <laughs> I had my massage on Wednesday and it was glorious. Um, and then preceding that, I also 
had pad thai takeout so it was like a glorious night and then I also had therapy so it was kind of it was definitely like a self-care pamper night where I just took care of myself and I, I really needed to do that so that was really great I marked all of my meetings the same way using the calendars from Crafts by Towie one of my favorite stickers of all time they are so adorable um let's see what else happened this week hmm. oh I finished Little Fires Everywhere so quickly I just got HBO Max not too long ago so I was able to kind of binge watch all of it um and I really love the show I truly truly hope they make a second season so I love Carrie and Reese they are so amazing it's such a great movie show whatever it is um and it was very moving and heavy and emotional and um just so good because the family dynamic is incredibly intense and relatable and I think it's one of those things where it was just a very powerful show especially when you know you try to relate on many levels as either like a guardian a mom a dad a sibling you know a friend everything and anything like it I just feel like you could totally relate on so many different levels and it was very intense but I did love it so much I hope they have a second season um here I'm just marking hello may in such a cute way I love how this turned out that script is from paper trail plans so Really quickly, I do want to talk a little bit about what happened this week. Not the week I'm planning, but the week that we just lived. So it was a very heavy week, as you guys might know about the the shooting at Rob Elementary School in Texas. Um, my heart goes out to these families and everything, and I just, it's, I, I truly have no words. I'm very speechless, and I'm sad. I, it's been a very emotional week, I think, for a lot of people. Um, especially the families that are grieving, right? But I'm thinking about all of them and keeping them in my thoughts and prayers. And um, I, it's just, I just have a very heavy heart and I'm, I'm really, really sad and I don't want to start crying, but it's been like that all week. And I think like at work, we were all feeling it too because, you know, we talked about it. Um, yeah, but anyways, I I do just want to say like, I'm I'm going to use my, YouTube earnings and donate to the cause because I just I, I I don't know how else how else to help and I really am not a huge fan of feeling helpless <laughs> um and and for me I feel like that's the only way that I I can try to assist and you know give back and pay it forward and and just try to to do my part where I can first of all I hope that you guys are all doing really well and if you're not, um, I hope that you're feeling your feelings and you're taking time to, to like, just be present, um, hug your families and loved ones and know that I appreciate you and I love this community so much and I'm very thankful to be a part of it, but I hope that you're doing okay. I know it's kind of been tough. It's been a heavy, what feels like two, three years now. I can't even count anymore. It's, it's been a wild ride on so many different on so many different levels and for different reasons um but you know we can do better you know we we really can and my heart just breaks but i hope that you're doing okay and that you're taking care of yourself and um just know that this community is here for you and we are truly awesome and amazing but um love you guys i hope that you have a great weekend and that you stay safe and enjoy the holiday take care bye